Good morning. Uh, this is uh, this is Richard Dubay. I'm the uh, director of uh, online education at uh, CIVO. I first want to wish uh, everybody a good morning or good afternoon wherever you are. Um, and uh, realizing that it's a tough time for everyone, so I wish uh, I hope that everybody's uh, is uh, safe and healthy uh, and uh, taking care of. Uh, of your family and your friends uh, with uh, keeping uh, social distancing um, or better said uh, physical distancing if you will. Um, <clears throat> before I dig into the topic of this morning, uh, just a quick introduction about myself. Um, I'm French Canadian so uh, you will notice the accent. Uh, I am a, a microbiologist biochemist and started a long time ago with uh, with Molson and then Labatt's, Budweiser and then moved to the United States in um, 1993 uh, with uh, Boston Beer Company where I was the research and development and quality control manager uh, for uh, several uh, contract brewery where uh, Boston Beer Company were uh, dealing with. Then I uh, took a uh, kind of a, a break after 20 years, uh, I went into uh, teaching. Uh, so I did my master in arts of teaching uh, in education and uh, I taught high school science for 10 years. So good way to get your Zen back, if you will. Uh, and then uh, I came back to the industry uh, as the uh, brewmaster of a huge gastropub in Cincinnati. And, uh, and later on, uh, Jump, uh, jump, and became a permanent employee at uh, at CIBO as the director of online education, as I said. Uh, but also, uh, also uh, at the same time, became a co-founder of a uh, brewery that uh, we actually just celebrated our fifth uh, year anniversary uh, a few days ago um, in uh, Northern Kentucky in Covington. So we know that it's uh, it, we know that it's uh, difficult times. Uh, it is uh, it is absolutely not obvious for for anyone. Uh, our life have been uh, turned upside down. Uh, we have to find some ways to um, not only to uh, keep us on top of our game, but uh, to be ready uh, for when everything's going to reopen. And that's probably the main uh, the main important point here. Um, now we know that uh, as as we um, mentioned in our uh, in our uh, tagline or in, in our announcement of the event itself, uh, it uh, we had uh, a, a huge group of master brewer uh, students and international diploma uh, students uh, in our brand new facility uh, in Chicago uh, on the campus, and uh, due to COVID nineteen. Uh, we had to close our doors. Uh, so we had to uh, rely on our well-established uh, online uh, program or online version of, uh, of, the, um, of the International Diploma and the Master Brewer program uh, to fulfill, uh, obviously, the need uh, of, of our student. And that's obviously what I would like to talk about this morning. It's, uh, it's web-based uh, web education. Um, first of all, it's it's uh, it's not an obvious choice uh, choice for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. Uh, people uh, liking uh, liking better to have the uh, live interaction with with an instructors, uh, having maybe all the anecdotal uh, stories that uh, the instructor can can bring, uh, as well as obviously uh, his or her own personality that adds to the entire uh, delivery of, uh, of knowledge. Uh, that being said, uh, not everybody can travel uh, to the campus, not everybody can afford the time nor, nor the, the extra money uh, to be on campus, so uh, online becomes a uh, very viable uh, alternative. Um, for instance, uh, not for instance, but uh, you have to understand, and I, and I think that this is the main point that needs to be brought up, is the, the, the quality uh, of the information that is, that is conveyed. 
So again, I totally understand with you, the method of delivery is uh, different. Uh, there, there's, uh, you're not, uh, you're not uh, in a classroom with uh, classmates, with the instructor in front of you uh, that can answer questions, et cetera. Um, however, the online offers a tremendous uh, amount of other uh, very important uh, benefits uh, that I would like to communicate to you. First of all, uh, online, uh, I, I want to go with the content first. Uh, because that is obviously something that uh, people have in mind, is the quality of the content uh, the same uh, as, as in uh, or on campus uh, delivery? And the short answer is absolutely yes. Uh, when, uh, and this is a sidebar detail, but an important one, the, the Department of Education is actually uh, more than recommending, forcing us to make sure that if we call a course a uh, concise overview of, uh, of the brewing process, uh, if we call that course as is, uh, it has to have exactly the same depth of knowledge that is presented on campus or that it is presented online. So when the courses are developed, they are developed in a way that they can be presented online and can be presented uh, as well uh, on campus. So depth of knowledge, exactly the same depth of knowledge. Quality, quality is the same because the presentation, uh, again, the, the delivery is slightly different that I can get into, but uh, the, the, the information that is conveyed is, is exactly the same. So, this being said, uh, what are the other benefits of online? Well, obviously, like, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, you might not have to travel. Uh, so that's a, that's a big thing. Uh, you would not have to uh, spend extra money uh, to be in a different, uh, different city. Uh, and uh, you're not stuck in a classroom uh, from nine in the morning till five, uh, five o'clock uh, uh, in the afternoon. So online allows you to uh, learn at your own pace. This is probably one of the biggest benefits. But there's some other, other um, sidebar benefits, let's say, that uh, people not always uh, think about. Uh, and uh, being have been a teacher for 10 years, uh, I, I realized that fact that a lot of people are actually uh, shy or embarrassed, let's say, to ask questions during uh, during the classroom itself. So they come afterwards and come and, and see you and, and, and ask some questions. Well, the online obviously uh, totally eliminates that that uh, that feeling of, uh, of being shy or being embarrassed by their classmate if they're asking a question that they feel is uh, is not exactly appropriate or or uh, not exactly on topic. So you do have uh, the opportunity to be on a one-on-one uh, one -on -one basis with your uh, tutor. Uh, the tutor is there to guide you, is there to answer your questions, is there to actually run um, chat sessions, not quite video conferencing. Uh, however, uh, with, uh, with everything that is going now, uh, it becomes easier and easier to do video conferencing with everybody all around the world. It becomes just a timing of the, when to schedule it uh, to uh, get everybody on board. Uh, but uh, you can easily uh, ask questions directly to the tutor uh, and have a kind of a personal attention uh, to, to your needs uh, in terms of making sure that you understand the context, you understand the, uh, the information that is being conveyed and clarified everything, everything for you. Um, the, uh, since, since, again, everything is at your own pace, uh, then you can create your own timeline. Uh, one small, uh, I'm not a drawback, but something to keep in mind is that when you are working online, you have to be very well self-disciplined. Uh, the tutor is there to recommend a learning schedule, uh, but you are the one who really has to make the effort to sit down in front of your computer and go through the lectures and go through the quizzes and uh, interact with, uh, with, uh, with the tutor uh, when they are online, etc. 
uh, it is, uh, it is uh, again, uh, same depth of knowledge, same quality of information, and you can reach almost the same level of interactivity with your, uh, with your tutor, uh, as well as with your classmate. Uh, we always uh, uh, ask permission first uh, to uh, publish uh, the, uh, the email addresses, for instance. Uh, and uh, and people are communicating with each other. As I kind of alluded to uh, earlier, uh, there's also uh, a at least a weekly uh, chat session uh, where people come in and either the tutor has prepared some uh, topics uh, in advance uh, or uh, or is uh, simply there to answer any question that you may have at that time. So this is another avenue for you to be uh, to have less of a feeling of uh, being all alone uh, in front of your computer and share some ideas and share some experience and share some some solutions. Now um, I know the anxiety of uh, of uh, choosing something. Uh, what is the appropriate uh, what is the appropriate uh, program or offering that I should look into? Um, at Siebel, we do uh, divide our uh, online offering uh, in terms of the depth of knowledge. So we have the uh, executive uh, that we call the entry level. Then you have the concise. That's, this is the intermediate level. Uh, in my book, uh, everybody in the industry should be concise savvy. Everybody should have at least that amount of theoretical information. And I know that people don't always like me saying theoretical when we're talking about something that is so hands-on about brewing. Uh, but let me tell you something. I've been in the industry uh, long enough to realize that there's a tremendous amount of people out there that know the, uh, that know the, the how to do things. Uh, but they don't fully realize the whys, uh, and uh, and this is what you need to acquire uh, in order to uh, to be successful uh, in this business. Um, I'm going to do a little sidebar here. I'm going to tell you a story about, uh, and that shows my age again. But the craft, the, the first craft beer revolution in the late '80s, uh, early '90s, where in my book there's. Uh, two sides to the equation. Uh, one side is the brewer and the other side is the, is the consumer. So back then we had a brewer that was uh, like today, very enthusiastic, uh, coming from uh, most of them coming from the home brewing world, uh, wanted to, to, to continue their, their craft uh, and got into, uh, got into the, uh, into professional uh, brewing, if you will. Uh, unfortunately, there was there was a gap. There was a, a lapse of, of understanding uh, of a lot of techniques, a lot of uh, hygiene procedures, and therefore we end up with a pretty bad beer out there. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, it it kind of killed the the, uh, the the industry or the revolution of craft beer at the time. On the other side of the equation, you have the consumer. So the consumer was not very well educated, not very well informed, but was more than willing to jump on the bandwagon of uh, a brand new type of beer or something like this. And what would happen um, uh, is that uh, they would taste, uh, let's say it might not be the perfect example, but the, they would taste, let's say, an IPA from, from Joe uh, and, uh, and they really didn't like it. Not necessarily because the beer was not good, but probably because they didn't know uh, what to expect, and they were not told uh, what to expect. As you, as you may know, bitterness is an acquired taste. Uh, it is something that our first reaction that is uh, ingrained in our DNA, in our brain, is that something bitter is something uh, toxic, and we should stay away from it. So our first reaction uh, is not always positive. But if you're not explained that, uh, then the reaction is to say, well, I don't like that. And, uh, and despite the fact that it was actually a very good IPA, uh, the, the consumer, instead of saying Joe's IPA versus John's IPA or Mary's IPA, uh, they said IPA as, as an umbrella, as an overarching uh, style. 
and therefore the good ones and the bad ones just went down the tube simply because the consumer was not very well educated. So going back to the brewer side and where we are now, I think that because the consumer is a little bit more educated and a little bit more informed and has a little bit better idea of what they are looking for, they will make the difference between Joe's IPA is terrible and John's IPA is wonderful and Joe will not survive. And the difference between the two, you will find that it's education. It's, it's the intricacies of the small things that needs to be understood and needs to be uh, throughout your process to make the best beer you can. There's a huge gap between a home brewer and then going into what I call taproom fresh and then from taproom fresh to go into distribution. There's a lot of small little details that yeah, frankly, have not much uh, importance uh, when you are a home brewer or maybe even a, a, a brewer that stays in the tap room. Uh, but definitely, it's going to make a big, big difference. And uh, a little pit peeve of mine, and I could talk about that for a while, but a little pit peeve of mine is uh, uh, people saying that the hot side aeration uh, is a myth and it doesn't exist. Well, I can tell you something that it does exist, and this is this is part of your survival. So, anyway, uh, long story short is that I believe that now, because of the consumer knowing more of what they want and what they expect, uh, therefore uh, the brewer is responsible for quality, and quality is consistency, and consistency can only be achieved by knowing all the little intricacies of beer production. Now, how can we, uh, in, this, uh, in those difficult times, how can we uh, get more of that information? Uh, it's, it's obviously uh, online. Uh, I went through uh, some of the benefits. Uh, I, I strongly believe in those benefits um, and uh, of the depth of knowledge and the quality that you can, uh, that you can also, uh, also achieve. So I mentioned that we have the executive uh, that is kind of the, uh, it's the level where uh, everybody in the industry but that is not involved in production should at least have. Uh, I'm sure that some of you uh, might have uh, been in that situation. So you're the brewer and your mesh mixer pump uh, breaks and then you go see your, your boss uh, that is from, let's say, with all due respect, the restaurant industry or whatever, another industry. Uh, and uh, you say, hey, my, my pump broke. I need one absolutely right now. And then you get the answer of, um, would you mind waiting a couple of weeks so, uh, so we can put the expense on next month's, uh, next month's report? Uh, well, you know that you cannot survive two weeks without your pump. Uh, so the executive is giving you a su superficial a view of beer production from from barley to uh, a little bit of brewing engineering so that the people that are not on your brew deck on a day-to-day -day basis and you wouldn't like to have them there anyway uh, do, do understand uh, the the importance of of the beer production uh, beer production uh, steps the concise as i said uh, it's an intermediate level uh, it's a level where, uh, where again, uh, everybody in the industry should be concise, savvy. Uh, it, it goes from, again, from barley to brewing engineering, um, where the executive has uh, 17 uh, lectures. I call them lectures or chapters, if you will. Imagine a book on brewing, uh, and then you have 17 uh, very specific topics, 17 different uh, chapters. So this is the executive, whereas when you get into the concise, now you're talking about uh, 33 different chapters. So it opens up a little bit more uh, the information, of course, of course, goes a little bit deeper. Then we have the uh, advanced, uh, advanced level, and this is the advanced brewery theory program uh, that uh, you can elect to take all the three modules. So it's made of three modules. Uh, raw material uh, and uh, word production, 
second one is beer production and quality control and the third one is packaging and process technology you can take them individually or you can take them uh, you can take them as a, as a package or let you permit yourself to take the entire three uh, if you will so uh, here you're talking about again the same the same spectrum of information from barley to brewing engineering but now you're talking about a, a, a a close to 110 uh, different lectures or different different topics uh, that will help you to understand even deeper uh, what are the uh, in and out of uh, of beer production. Then there's another there's another um, offering uh, that we have that is fairly new, uh, going back to September. And we call them specialized lectures. And specialized lectures are basically lectures from the advanced brewing theory program. But uh, instead of committing yourself to take a whole module of 30-ish uh, uh, lectures, you can pick and choose what you want. Uh, one of the biggest advantage of that is, uh, is that, uh, let's I'll give an example. Uh, somebody uh, uh, end up in quality control uh, doesn't know much about uh, brewing microbiology. Uh, not that they would not like to know more about malting, for instance, but really what would help them today is to know more about uh, contaminants, uh, detection and identification, uh, maybe uh, a taste panel, how to make taste panel, how to become a taste panel manager, and those kind of things. And then another individual is in packaging. So again, not that they don't want to know more about yeast metabolism, uh, but really what will help them is a principle of cannings and uh, fillers and uh, packaging in general, uh, uh, pumps, valves, et cetera, et cetera. So I can go on and on and on like this. Uh, so those specialized lectures right now we have online uh, over uh, or close to 70 different lectures. Uh, again, going from raw material to uh, process technology and everything in between. Uh, by the end of the year, uh, we're going to have uh, close to 110 uh, lectures that will be offered in that format. Um, the, the advantage or another benefit of those lectures, uh, not only they are very specific to a very specific topic, like I said, uh, cleaning and sanitation or uh, uh, or uh, pumps, valves, uh, maintenance principles, uh, et cetera, et cetera, hops, water adjustment, you name it, is that uh, you have access to, uh, now I call them monitors. So I mentioned instructors, person live in front of you in a classroom. I mentioned tutors that are the ones that are uh, the, the people that will guide you and answer your question and uh, grade your quizzes online. And there, there's a monitor uh, when you get in an environment that we call asynchronous environment, where instead of having a, a class or a course or an offering that starts on one date and ends on another date, uh, those specialized lectures can be taken at, at, at any time. So therefore you are you are not in sync with other people, okay? Uh, but you still have you still have access to someone, and and uh, that person is called a monitor. The monitor will not interact with you unless uh, unless you inter interact with them, uh, but they will answer your question pertinent to uh, this uh, this special this specialized lectures. Uh, now. Um, I just want to, to give you a little bit more uh, sense of, uh, of uh, let's say, uh, understanding of the quality of our, of our uh, information that we uh, promote. Uh, all the lectures have been developed under very uh, strict guidelines, uh, both, uh, both in terms of specific content, but also in terms of uh, educational experience. Uh, and that that's where my 10 years of teaching and my master in art of, of education comes in, in, into play. Uh, so they are very uh, uh, standardized. Uh, the content the content has been developed uh, by content experts or all our contributors, uh, instructors, tutors, monitors, and uh, content developers. 
are people from the industry that are either retired, uh, most of them are still in industry, uh, actively working as a consultant or working in large industry, like uh, you know, in, in malting, in brewing, in packaging, uh, et cetera. So you can be assured that the information is up to date uh, and, and, and the information is being updated uh, on a fairly regular basis uh, and that everybody that is involved in the project is, uh, is, is knowledgeable uh, and, uh, and, and have seen a lot that they can convey, uh, convey with you uh, if you have any questions. So, um, just looking here for a second. Um, yeah, one, one more thing about uh, the platform itself is that uh, the platform itself, it, it really creates an engaging and learning experience that I believe you will appreciate. Uh, like I said, it's, it's not obvious for everyone to be sitting in front of their computer and trying to learn something, but when you get over this, this little hump, uh, you realize that you know you can have a very interactive experience and you can have a very good learning experience uh, because of other tools that can be used to become more interactive like chat and video conferencing and one on one uh, meeting with your with your tutor and so on and so forth there's also there's also on the platform uh, a uh, a lot of uh, time management tool uh, to stay on course, uh, no pun intended, but uh, that will help you to, to stay focused uh, on achieving completion. Uh, and one example that I believe I mentioned earlier is the recommended learning, uh, learning schedule or learning, um, yeah, learning schedule in terms of how much you should progress uh, week after week. Um, before I get into, uh, into question, there's one more thing that I would like to share with you. Uh, I, I believe that uh, at the end of the day, uh, you are the uh, person that uh, own your own future. Uh, you can tailor your brain education uh, the, the, the way that best fits you with, uh, with the offerings that, uh, uh, that are out there. Uh, but uh, we also recognize that it's uh, difficult times. Uh, and so therefore we have open application for scholarship uh, until at the end of this week. Um, I'm not giving you the details of, of how many scholarship or which, which scholarship in terms of which courses or offering uh, we will be, uh, we will be uh, awarding uh, or specialized lectures or whatever. But uh, I, I want to tell you that uh, it, it, it is worth your time to uh, tell us your story uh, tell us a little bit of your background. Uh, tell us how a scholarship would impact uh, your life uh, and your future career. Uh, and we will make a decision uh, early next week and we will award uh, some scholarship based on uh, how many applicants we have received. So please, uh, please do uh, take, uh, take a moment uh, to reflect and see how much uh, a better education could help you become not only a better brewer, uh, but I believe the brewer that will survive, uh, not only this crazy times, but uh, when we'll come back in full swing, uh, you will realize, as I alluded to earlier, that the difference between the first craft beer revolution and this one is that the one that will be able to produce a good quality, high quality, consistent beer will be the one who will survive and we'll have, uh, we'll see their business uh, thriving. So you can send your application to um, info at siebelinstitute.com. We will review uh, your story and, and your desire to make yourself better. Uh, and we will uh, early next week give you some, um, give you some uh, feedback on that. Um, I think that I, Cover it all. Um, I wish uh, I wish some people would uh, send me some uh, questions uh, because I could uh, either, without question, I could uh, ramble <laughs> ramble a little bit longer if you will me to. Uh, I can get into my uh, 
my hot side aeration uh, rant that a lot of you have uh, already uh, heard before. Uh, but I uh, would prefer to focus on on the uh, online education and make you and make you feel comfortable with the idea of being uh, comfortably in your house, uh, in, in your slippers, uh, uh, watching some uh, watching some uh, lectures uh, and taking notes and uh, getting some ah ah moment. Uh, when you get uh, when you get something something new, the beauty is that uh, uh, you have to achieve a level of satisfaction. Uh, I call it my daily satisfaction. I have to go to bed uh, with the um, with the uh, the idea or the concept that I have learned something new today. Uh, and uh, the beauty is that at my age, I'm not too sure if it's something that I new and that I forgot or if it's some, really something new but uh, in any case that satisfaction is the same so uh, if you want to um, again improve your depth of knowledge or refresh your your, your knowledge or or advance uh, your knowledge or answer some questions that, that you had about glycol or steam or yeast metabolism or yeast nutrition or whatever whatnot uh, there is something out there for you uh, that we could uh, provide the uh, the information and the uh, depth of knowledge that you're looking for. So this is it for my story and uh, the ins and outs of uh, online. Um, I could uh, go on and give you uh, more uh, details. Um, uh, I'm going to go with the, uh, there's some, some uh, questions that are being asked, uh, like for instance, uh, how long are those programs? Well, um, the executive, which is actually, uh, is only given uh, online, there's no campus uh, executive, uh, it is uh, three weeks online. So three weeks, uh, again, it starts at a very specific date and ends at a very specific date. So that's the executive. Uh, then you have the concise. The concise is uh, is offered both campus. Of course, right now campus. Uh, let's put an X on that. Uh, right now we have uh, the intention of possibly, uh, if everything goes well, and and you know this uh, coronavirus uh, uh, crisis uh, is is uh, finally behind us. Uh, is that maybe August, the session of August? Uh, will be open campus. Uh, but in the meantime, we have the concise uh, online. Uh, we have a May session and a, an August session. And online, it lasts uh, 11 weeks. Um, and again, you have to understand, well, God, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm doing nothing at home, so you know, it won't take me 11 weeks to do the material. You, you're probably right. Uh, you have to understand that those uh, programs are designed in a normal uh, with a normal life uh, in uh, in mind so people are uh, are working they're on shift etc cetera, etc cetera. so over the years uh, we have realized that it's really uh, about the time that is that is correct to go over all the material and and take the time to answer the quizzes and get the, the quizzes back from the tutors and reflect on what has been submitted and so on and so forth so the concise is is online 11 weeks and then for the uh, advanced uh, program so the separate module so they are also offered campus so when they offer campus they're back to back uh, uh, in their two weeks each so six weeks to do all three modules from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day uh, and when you get online though each uh, each modules are uh, presented separately and individually in the sense that you can do them in any order uh, because uh, there's of course there's a continuity in the information but you can learn about valves and glycol and steam uh, before you learn about uh, let's say barley and malting and water adjustment and that kind of stuff so the three modules can be taken in any order uh, in any sequence and again the modules are 11, 11 weeks to allow you to go uh, completely through the material 
one thing that I might not have uh, mentioned uh, that might help some some people to to uh, make a decision uh, is that the the intermediate level uh, is designed in a way that most of the information is right in front of you. Uh, call it a slide, if you will. I don't like it exactly because you would see how it works. But uh, so the information is is right there uh, in front of you, uh, with a little bit of narration here and there when it is uh, when it is uh, required. Uh, I'm thinking about, let's say, I give you a picture of a. Um, biochemical pathway of the formation and reduction of diacetyl, uh, for example. Uh, but if I don't put any narration to that, uh, it becomes very difficult to, to even know which way to start. Do I start with the upper left, upper right, the bottom, and the middle? You don't really know if you don't have any uh, uh, guidance. So, uh, so about 10% of the material in concise is, is narrated for the purpose of clarification and making sure that you uh, that you get the concept. When it gets to the ABT, so now we rely on people to be a little bit more knowledgeable, to have a good foundation. So we present the uh, information uh, differently. There's only about 10% of the material that is in front of you, and 90% is actually narrated. So the lectures on the ABT program and the specialized lectures that I mentioned earlier are 100% narrated. Um, it, is, uh, it is an educational approach uh, to make sure that uh, if you can stop and start and take your own notes and kind of rethink about what you just heard and put it in your own words, this is the best way to achieve what we call retention. And, and good comprehension of the material that is in front of you. Um, let me think. Um, yeah, I pretty covered about everything. Um, is there anybody out there that would like to ask me some uh, some questions? Uh, that be that be nice. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'm going to jump into my uh, oxidation rant. <laughs> <laughs> and for some people, it might be a, uh, a repeat. Um, another uh, frequently asked question is, uh, is actually uh, how, how am I um, assessed or how, uh, how can I prove, let's say, that I have a, a decent understanding of the material that is uh, communicated? Uh, well, um, not exactly the same approach for both the concise uh, or the executive, the concise and the ABT, but uh, with the same goal in mind uh, is to make sure that the tutor can, uh, can uh, gauge and evaluate uh, your understanding. So uh, after most of the lectures, uh, most of the topics or chapters, again, you, know, you can call them whatever you want, but after each uh, topic, uh, you will have a short, a short assessment that can take two forms. One is a what we call a self-assessment in the sense that it's uh, auto-graded, uh, meaning that uh, you answer a true, a true, false question, or you answer a multiple choice, and you submit your answer, and then you get the, the correct answer with a, a feedback, with a, a piece of information that support. Uh, support what the correct answer is and take also the opportunity to uh, bring a little bit more information uh, surrounding this particular topic. Uh, so let's say, I don't know, uh, the glucose is, uh, is, is a carbohydrate with uh, six carbon, whatever, something like this. Okay. So we would answer yes or no, uh, true or false, uh, yes it's true, uh, and, and then we would go to uh, discuss and take the opportunity to uh, continue a little bit deeper into just telling you yes or no, uh, but to tell you, yeah, well, there's other other carbohydrate, there's uh, disaccharide, there's trisaccharide, and they are this, they are that. So every single answer uh, and feedback gives you the opportunity to gain a little bit more knowledge that has been covered during the lecture. Then there's uh, then these uh, what we call the mentored quizzes or short answer or short 
uh, essay, uh, and it's basically a question, uh, and then the, you type, type in your answer. And after completing the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten questions uh, at the end of that lecture, you then submit this, uh, this quiz to the tutors, and the tutors uh, not only grade them, uh, but also give you the feedback uh, in terms of, uh, uh, of helping you to further understand uh, what, uh, what the concept was all about. Uh, so uh, give you a good example. Uh, uh, one question would be something like, uh, how would you tell, uh, how would you tell uh, if, if you are dealing with a, an old yeast slurry or a, um, or a fresh yeast slurry uh, when looking under the microscope? Uh, and then people will answer something like, uh, well, uh, when it's old and has a granular interior, the cell wall appears uh, larger. Uh, when I look at the overall uh, uh, cells in front of me, uh, there's different sizes and a little bit of different shapes. So there's a little bit of an inconsistency in the shape. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, I can count the uh, I can count the butt scars. Uh, so the uh, the instructor would say, yeah, pretty good answer, but uh, let's 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 make clear that uh, to see the butt scars, uh, you would have to have a um, a fluorescent microscope uh, that is uh, getting better in price, but still a little bit uh, pricey for most of us. So that might not be the way to to look at it. So the feedback that the tutors provide uh, is invaluable. Uh, it is part of the entire uh, educational uh, experience, uh, and uh, the the students, the learners, uh, truly appreciate to uh, to go back to that and uh, and um, accumulate accumulate the information. So this is how uh, this is how we kind of give you a better uh, better feel for uh, if you have truly. Uh, capture the essence of the content, the, the essence of the concept, uh, and so therefore you can readjust your um, your uh, your thinking, or you can maybe maybe it's going to force you to readjust a little bit how you've been approaching those uh, uh, those different uh, lectures, uh, simply because uh, you got the the support from your from your tutor. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, once again, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit at lost here. We're at uh, we still have about uh, 10, 15 ish minutes uh, to go. Um, I believe I give you a decent uh, decent uh, view on how uh, we approach uh, education uh, at Siebel um, between two totally different uh, method of delivery uh, and. Uh, and for some people, one worked better than the other. However, I can tell you, and again, I'm going to show my age, but I can tell you that uh, with everything that we have to our disposal uh, in terms of, uh, of ease of communication, uh, nobody that, uh, that takes a online course or online lectures or online program uh, should feel isolated. Uh, because you have uh, you have text, you have uh, you have uh, instant messaging, you have chat sessions, you have video conferencing, you have emails, uh, everything that allows you to communicate very very quickly with your tutors, uh, and the tutors uh, always always uh, make their uh, absolute priority to answer to you as quickly as possible because we know. Uh, that uh, that you know if we want to keep that feel of responsiveness, uh, you have to get an answer uh, right away or as soon as possible. So uh, again, despite the fact that uh, you will have my pretty face in front of you and uh, making some dumb jokes, uh, you know uh, if you're looking at the content, uh, you definitely can get it uh, can get it online. With uh, very very good uh, support from uh, from the tutors, so I invite you to um, to look at uh, SiebelInstitute.com, and under program and courses, uh, you will see all the different uh, offerings. 
uh, including the, um, the specialized lectures that are again uh, piecemeal or specific uh, specific topics that you might want to uh, refresh or uh, or get a, a grasp of. Uh, and I would like to also um, reiterate the uh, the scholarship that we are uh, that we are um, that we have open. Uh, we have opened the application uh, for our scholarship uh, for you to uh, help you to uh, to gain more knowledge and again make you uh, successful uh, in uh, in the future in your career. It's a uh, it's a great industry. I've been at it uh, on and off uh, for 42 years now, and uh, it's running in your vein. Uh, it's it's really really interesting. As I tell some people, uh, I did uh, two things in my life. Uh, I brewed and I taught, and now I'm teaching brewing. So it's a full circle. Uh, it's really, really nice. Um, I do teach uh, uh, live uh, several courses uh, at Siebel as well, and it's always a pleasure to be in, in front of the in front of the students. Uh, but I find uh, the same satisfaction uh, when I have a group of students in front of me through video conferencing and kind of realizing the craziness of having some people from Spain and people from uh, from Israel and people from the United States uh, all gathering together on a screen and be able to uh, share uh, experience and knowledge uh, and discussion. Um, yeah, uh, that's about it. That's about it about me uh, and, and our offerings. Uh, if you have any question, do not hesitate. Uh, even if this, uh, if this um, session ends, uh, do not hesitate to contact me at rdube at siebelinstitute.com. Uh, and uh, I'll be uh, more than happy to uh, answer any questions that you may have. Uh, regarding our offerings uh, online, uh, and uh, give you give you all the details that uh, that you might uh, that you might uh, have. So um, I'm going to finish with uh, with my uh, oxidation story. So uh, oxidation is for me uh, it's like a um, well. Let me rephrase that. Everything that you do. Uh, that may cause oxidation is a uh, is like a bank account with a big difference. It's a bank account that you cannot take, you cannot withdraw from this bank account. You can only make some deposits. So everything that you do uh, that will or could cause air ingress or oxygenation at any point of the process, and I'm talking about Hey Joe, it's Friday night, and uh, I have a couple of hours to go. Uh, what about I, I mill the uh, mill the grain for Tuesday morning? Uh, Tuesday morning uh, brew. Mm -mm, not a good idea. You are causing some precursor to uh, to flavor flavorful oxidized uh, compound that will appear at the end of uh, the end of the day. You can only prevent oxidation you cannot reduce oxidation because everything that you've done has been added to this bank account and when you look at what we call the electron chain uh, chain receptors is that when you oxidize a compound that that compound now becomes a an oxidizer that will oxidize another compound and then you follow this chain until you end up with something that is well known trans to none and all, and then you get your cardboard uh, wet paper uh, character that is, uh, that is uh, uh, you know, that specific note of oxidation. So everything that you do at the beginning and throughout your entire beer, beer production will lead to uh, flavor, uh, flavor instability or flavor stability, depending how you played, how you played your game. So whipping your mash in the mash mixer, uh, splashing your mash in the lot of ton all over the place. This is not good. 
this is as bad as uh, having a leaking pump a leaking uh, <coughs> sorry a leaking a leaking hose or whatever uh, it is uh, it is creating those oxidizers that eventually will reach will reach the compounds that uh, will give you this uh, very uh, definite and very clear uh, trans to non in all um, uh, character. So that's my oxidation. Oxidation is like a bank account that you cannot withdraw. You can only make some deposit and you make some deposit way, way early in the process when you start milling your, your grain. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, almost uh, hour uh, uh, one-way chat. Um, I hope you learn a little bit of things about uh, online uh, offerings and realize that, you know what, uh, online, uh, I didn't think it was for me, but uh, I think I can give it a try. Uh, and definitely you would be supported by a great group of content experts uh, and, um, and tutors and mentors uh, uh, that will uh, guide you through, through this experience uh, during our uh, tough times. Once again, do not hesitate to uh, give me a call uh, or shoot me a note at, uh, again, rdubé uh, at siboinstitute.com and it will be my pleasure to, uh, to respond as quickly as possible. Stay safe, everyone. Stay healthy. And uh, we're going to go through this. Uh, we're going to survive and we're going to become, uh, we're going to be stronger at the end of that. Uh, and we'll be there to make the best beer ever. Take care of yourself. It was nice to see you. Bye-bye.